hello guys welcome back in the previous video we have learned how to make the edit text view so in this video we will learn how to save the instance state and restore the instance state of any object like edit text and other views so stay tuned and watch the video till the end So guys basically saving and restoring the instance state mean sometime in activity life cycle when the activity is uh, created and then resumed and stopped and then recreated on the restart of any application. So if you have written something in the edit text it will be lost. So you have to avoid that lost data in the form of storing the state of the data and when the activity is recreated you have to restore that save data back to the text view so if you do not know about the activity life cycle you can check out my video in the description where i have elaborated the activity life cycle in simple way so for the moment for seeing the data lost in the in the activity recreation so for this i will go into the code so by default android always save the state of the data so for seeing this phenomena you have to disable the feature of automatic saving the data for this i will write in the edit text view save enabled to false and from here i will delete the text of the text view so guys now let's build this code so as you can see here my application is launched so i will write here some data so guys this phone is currently in portrait mode so when i put the phone in the landscape mode you can see here so my data is gone because the activity is recreated so when i come back into the portrait mode again my data is lost what i have written before going into the landscape mode and coming back so for saving that data and restoring the data back we have to include two callback in the code of activity for this now let's come into the code of the activity here we have to include two callback one is the on save instance state so we have to include this app compat activity callback make sure it has only one argument so guys as you can see here on saved instance state callback has bundle instance so we will save our data in this bundle instance and will retrieve that data on a restore callback let's include that callback as well on restore instance state so guys now let's put the log here so that we can check the state of the instance in the same way i will put the log back in the on restore on restore instance state when the activity is going to be killed or destroyed so before that this event is called to notify the system if he want to save some data so here we will save the data what is written in the edit text let's do it so the written data is in the form of character sequence so we will get that data edit text dot get text now we have accessed the text now let's save that data in the instance of this bundle out state so out state dot put character sequence so we have the data type of character sequence so we will call out state dot put character sequence so it has a lot of data types and you can call corresponding data type function to store that data so i have the character sequence i will write this so this will store the data in the form of key value pair so we have to provide one key and the data the data will be stored against that key so for the moment i will select the key as my save data and here i will write the data 
So guys, our data is stored when this event will be called back. So when the activity will be recreated, we have to call this function to restore that data back to our edit text. So in the same way, we will get that data because our data type was character sequence. We have to get back data. We can say that store data is equal to. So we have to call this instance of bundle saved instance state dot. So we will get character sequence because our data. Now we have to provide the key against which our data is stored. So now we have retrieved our data. Now let's allocate that data to our edit text. So edit text my edit text. So here we have to set text what we have retrieved in this event. So guys here in this callback we have stored the data and in this callback we have restored the instance state. So now let's build and compile the application. So guys our application is launched now let's launch the logcat here we have to type our data like you can type hello coding persuades so when i am going to put the phone in the landscape mode from the portrait so guys you can see here first the event is called in saved instance state and then in the stored instance state event is called in the saved instance state the hello coding pursuit data is saved and in the restored instance state when the activity is recreated our data is got back to us in the same way when i put back the phone into the portrait mode you can say that the activity is recreated so before destroying the activity the saved instance method is called and we have saved our data and allocated that data back to the text view in the on restored instance state. So guys hope you have enjoyed the video. So this is enough for this session. See you in next video.